Okay, guys, I'm actually really excited for this feature because this is like nothing you will ever see in a course. This is an actual real feature for an app, a feature that I actually use all the time, and that is the stock comparable finder. Yes, you will have a nice little bar that you can quickly find comparable stocks using the financial modeling prep algorithm but there is a downside to this. It requires the paid version. I have no affiliation with this company, but it does require the paid version. The paid version is very inexpensive. And personally, I think it's totally worth the money, but you don't need this feature. So let's go into here and let's go ahead and let's build out the API endpoint. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and copy this API endpoint down. I'm going to say, get comp data you get call it get comparable data i'm just going to call it to get comp data and we need to switch out this type right here so i'm going to say get or uh, not get company comp data and i don't think i actually created this one so what we need to need to do is go into our actual type right here and we need to go ahead and add it and my type is right here so go down we need to export this interface. So we're going to export the interface and we're gonna say company comp data. And we also are going to have a symbol here. And we are also going to have our peers listed. Call it stock peers. Sometimes people call it comparable stock peers. And that is what our data is going to be look, looking like. And we need to also go back and update the import so that we can actually see it. Next thing that you want to do is you want to go to financial modeling prep and you want to go to the search bar right here and type in stock peers. And once you do that, you will be able to get the stock peers list. Okay, so go ahead, grab that. I'm going to copy and paste it into the actual query string right here. I accidentally went back, so I need to go back into here and... Just go ahead, copy and paste that in. So looking good. And also need to add the API key right here. So API key, and that looks good. So next thing is we need to switch this out. This actually needs to be query. Otherwise you're going to get Apple every single time that you search for something and you probably don't want that. And if you did everything correctly, you're going to get no issues found right here. So the next thing is that we need to add the actual comp component into the company dashboard, but I don't really want to do that right now. I think right now I'm just going to have the comp, I'm just going to add the comp finder right here and I'm going to call it a component and I'm going to call it the comp finder just because I think it rolls off the tongue a little bit easier and it sounds a little bit cooler. So let's go here, going to call this the comp finder. .tsx, and we'll also add a CSS file right here just for good measure. So we'll call this comp finder.css. And this is going to be a list. So go TSRAFCE, go ahead, bring that in. We need to bring in the ticker. We need to pass the, go ahead and pass the ticker down. We're going to pass that down in our company page. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll uh, explain it here a little bit better here in a second, but let's just kind of focus on one thing at a time for right now. We'll also make sure that we we're passing in our ticker into our component right here. Then what I'm going to do is go ahead and new up some state as usual. You guys know the deal. So company um, data, I'm just gonna call this company data. We'll say set company data, go initialize use state company and we're going to call this company comp data so say company comp data and we'll uh we don't i don't think we need to initialize it with anything maybe but if we do we can always change it doesn't really not a really uh big big deal and then we'll go down here and because we need to go ahead and fetch the comp data we're going to have to use use effect and i have no idea what deferred value is or why they brought that in but uh, sometimes VS Code goes a little crazy, but we're going to go ahead and just get rid of that const, and we're going to uh, go into here, and we need to 
create a async function. So we're going to say get comps. This is going to be async. Remember, you can't put async up here. You have to put it in an actual function and go down here. And we're going to actually call our API. So we'll say await and we'll say get comp data looking great and go ahead bring this in bring in the api data and then we're going to set our company data after that and we'll pass in let's see here um make this a null optional go to zero it's going to pass in the very first one then we are going to actually call the function that we just created. Okay, so that is looking good. Also, remember to pass in, you could, I'm, I'm sure you could leave this uh, empty if you wanted to, but I think it's good just to have something in there because it makes, a look, makes it look a little bit better and it will re-trigger in the crazy case that this actually does get passed back down, it will actually trigger it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just hop into here and I'm going to give this a little bit of styling. If we don't add any styling off the bat, it's going to look like doo-doo. So let's go in here and I'm going to say, I'm going to make this rounded. And I'll say rounded, uh, medium, rounded, medium. We'll say shadow, we'll give it a little bit of shadow, make it look okay. And we'll say uh, shadow small and M4, so we'll give a little bit of margin, we'll say uh, margin four. Okay, and now we need to actually pass down the company data and going to make this an optional. So say company data, make it optional. We're gonna say dot peers list because we don't want the symbol. I guess you could put the symbol in there, but and we could just leave that so we could just leave the symbol there just for good luck just in case we need it but we don't really need it i don't think maybe you think differently but if you want it there feel free to change okay so and then here is where we're going to have to create um the actual item for this so this is going to be a list and within react it's always good that we have actual items so i'm going to say comp finder and then i'm going to go into here i'm going to say comp finder item dot tsx uh no that's actually a folder we don't want to do that then yeah just create the folder and i'm going to say comp finder item so comp finder item dot tsx then go into here say comp finder item dot css and it makes sure tsrefce now we've got our item we are ready to rock so Comp finder item. This is going to be a little in depth. This is going to be a very strange scenario with React Router because we're going to have to force reload the page. If you don't force reload the page, the data won't populate. So just kind of follow along here and I'm going to explain how this is going to work. So first we're going to need a React Router link because this is going to be a link, but the crazy thing about this scenario is that we're going to have to reload the whole entire page each time because if we don't, the data will not populate correctly. So um, make sure to have that reload document right here. Then we're going to have two, and this is going to uh, have a actual template literal in it. And we'll say company, so say company, we'll put a ticker, so say ticker. There we go, ticker, and go ahead, slash company profile. Okay, so that's looking good. Now we don't have any red squiggly lines, so at least we got that going for us. Now we have to put some styling, because if we don't have any styling, it's going to look bad. Make sure the type is a button as well, too, otherwise it could cause errors. I can't, I uh, think I remember there being lots of errors if you don't actually add the button. So go into here, flex items, we'll say center. Um, we'll also add a little bit of padding. So we'll say P, say P4, and make this rounded. 
You don't have to go too crazy here. You could add as, as many styles as you want to, but add as little as you want to. And if you really want to go crazy on the GitHub, I have it set up so that you can get uh, focus rings and you can get all of the bells and whistles for like a really sweet, fancy button. But I don't think that's really necessary because that's going to take literally probably take me like 10 minutes. So if you want all of that styling that I have right there and you want all of the quote unquote bells and whistles for like a really super fancy button, feel free to type that out. But I'm not going to force you guys to type that out. <laughs> That'd be torture. Um, okay, so we have our uh, actual um, the actual button coded. So now what we need to do is bring it in. So say comp finder. I'm gonna say comp finder item. Go ahead, pass this in. Then we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna pass in our ticker right here. So we'll say uh, ticker looking good. We have our comp finder item. Then we have the actual ticker. Now we need to go into the actual company page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little discombobulated here. Our project's kind of getting big. Uh, what we want to do is we want to add it to the actual company dashboard. If you add it down here, you're not going to get the added benefit of the data just switching and it looking really good. The reason I put it above the fold is so that... We can just boom, 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 just click data and all this data will refresh because we have the reload document. And if you remember, if you don't have the reload document, it's probably not going to work correctly. So please make sure to take that into consideration. All right. So enough chit chat. I'm going to go ahead, bring in the uh, comp finder. So I'll say comp finder right here. And we need to pass in the actual ticker for this. So I'm going to say ticker. So say ticker and the ticker is going to be the company dot symbol just like that. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. It might not be working. There might be a couple of issues, but I think it won't hurt just to go ahead and load it up. So I'm going to go ahead, load this thing up, say comp, say TSLA, go Tesla. And oh gosh, I forgot to actually add the um symbol into here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add the ticker right here and if you go ahead and start it let's go ahead and take a look here that don't know what that is we'll fix that later that is a error for the developer page so if you go through here also make sure that the numbers are actually changing as well too so palo alto networks we have adobe this is looking good. Our numbers are changing correctly. Our numbers look like ass, to be honest with you, but we're going to go back and change those so that they be, they look a little bit more readable. But at least we have all of our data. And if you click on the uh, if you click on another one, it's going to take you back to the home page. You could do it to where it will automatically change like that, but I wanted it so that it would just bring me back to the actual company profile and I can get all of the actual metrics that I want at a glance because a lot of times I don't want to see the income statement. I just want to see the actual just uh, metrics for it just straight off the bat so I can judge it just really quickly. But our actual comparable finder is looking good. Now we're going to move on to actually building out the 10K finder and then we're going to clean up some of the data. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.